not going to touch it. I'm just going to show you quickly how I want the trim to go. We'll see how it progresses, but this is the plan. So I cut the baseboard. Um, this is just a sample to show you. So that's going to run along the front. The side baseboard is here. Then these little strips, one will go along the front here, like so. And then this one is going to come along the side here of the wall to give it the look of built-ins um, so you don't see a gap between the bookcase and the wall. Okay, so I have my miter box. I said earlier I have a miter saw. I actually have a miter box. You lay down the baseboard inside it, and then you take your saw and you place it in the slot. And as you, um, you know, saw the baseboard, you're going to create your angle for the um, for the joint of the baseboards where they're going to be mitered on either side to come together. And there's different, um, this is how you do it if, because the baseboard is too tall, you have to do it like this. If you had a piece of molding, let's say, that was smaller, not quite so tall, you could place it up like this and go like this through these slots. Anyway, there's lots of YouTube videos on how to use a miter box, but let's just get started. So um, stick it through. And I've already measured. I know what I'm doing here. And I take little paint sticks and just kind of jam them in here. And it helps keep the um, baseboard from sliding around. I know I'm not very professional. I probably should be doing this on some kind of workbench. But I only need to do four cut cuts, so it makes a nasty noise, by the way. There you have it. I'm just going to move this over to show you. Just like that. I'm just going to paint over everything and add caulk so um, where there might be a little, you know, space will be caulked in. And I think in the end, and it's going to look great. And it's just, like I said, um, pretty simple way to create the um, miter edge for your baseboard. Okay, in order for these little bits of trim to look somewhat decent, we have to miter a little bit of the edge off. Um, that way, when I put them on here, like this, it goes into the molding instead of basically um, sticking out like that. So we're gonna use the, my little assistant <laughs> and my miter saw. Just to cut the very, hold on, so I'm just gonna push it back a little bit towards you. There you go. Just to cut the little bit off the edge. I think it's up. Yeah. So now we have a little mitered edge. Um, it will fit like so.